Hello guys, welcome to episode 6 of our 5th club in this journeyman save where we are trying to win all the top divisions in Scandinavia. We've currently just defeated Sweden um, and we're now in Finland, uh, into Turku and doing okay, doing pretty well actually. Uh, we're still very much in the hunt this year. It's been been quite exciting. So. Um, this is how things went after that cup final loss. The only team that we've lost to is IFK, IFK Mariham twice, 1-0, which is disappointing. So we'll be going to be playing them again today. <laughs> and then we'll probably be losing 1-0. The cup game was a particularly boring game. But we followed that up nicely with a 0-0 draw against KUPS. I was hoping we might do a little bit better, but they are playing well, old KUPS. Um, so we've, uh, we, you know, a nil-nil draw away from home there is not the end of the world. The game that came after this, the game against Lati, um, I did think we should have got a little bit more out of it. So Grun got the goal for us, and we only got that after they had a player sent off. Finished 1-1. We had a lot of chances, and I feel we uh, didn't do us do ourselves justice in the in the game. But in the last three games, it's uh, suddenly picked up in terms of goals scored. 5-0 win um, at home against Honka. Uh, goals from Parejo uh, with a couple. Coco with a penalty. Hansen and Wickman with, with goals, which was very, very well received. The other game, this crazy game, a 4-4 draw uh, against SJK. This just was all over the place. And we managed to get a point out of it with a last-minute goal from Wickman. But we also had a hat-trick from Parejo. So... That was that was good to see, but the lead was changing, um, changing all the time. We were ahead, we were behind, and then we just pipped it at the end. So in the end, I was quite pleased with the point, but oh, we sh it shouldn't have been like that. I don't know what the heck was going on. And then we just played KPV, 4-0 win. Mickelson with a hat-trick, I don't know where that came from, and Wickman with a, another goal. We've been playing him actually on the left side, and that seems to be fairly effective and uh, well, we're going to go again with that today against Mariham who are fifth in the league they have dropped off a little bit form wise we'll just have a little look at their form as you can see yeah they have not won in four so this should be a good time to be playing them they've lost uh, against teams who aren't all that good uh, Lati aren't that great away draw against Honka that's not great away a home draw against TPS that's not that great so um it seems since they won the Finnish Cup, they have struggled to reproduce that form. And and you look at where they are, where they've finished recently, you feel we should be doing better than losing 1-0 against this bunch of, well, Maries. Anyway, let's go and see what we can do here. Um, I'm just going to double check the squad makes sense. Okay, yeah, I don't want to make, take too many people out. There's a few guys who are in the in the 80s in terms of conditioning, and that's a bit of a problem. I have taken out at Michaela and Mickelson, who are two very, very good players, as they are struggling a little bit. And in has come um, Ustalo and Hussein, two reasonable replacements here. Um, I mean, Ustalo's been doing pretty terribly in recent times. I don't know if we've got another option there. I could try Linquist there. See what you can do. Right, let's see what that does. And uh, we're coming here against uh, Mariham. HJK, as you can see, got a win. So that is important to keep up with them. Um, this is not going to be an easy one. I think we're going to really struggle to make um, make things with this. Oh, Cow is back. He's back from injury. Uh, he, is, he is officially called Cow. And he played in the last game. And uh, we, he had a good average rating, which was which was nice. But he's he's got people after him, so yeah, that's that's not ideal. And I think he might well be leaving. But you know, if he leaves, he leaves. What I'm really trying to do, we're currently just three points behind HJK. We want to stay three points behind because it looks like they are coming up to a very difficult run. And if we can just get ahead of them then we have a real chance maybe at the first opportunity of winning this league but it all really revolves around this game I think because if we lose this game we go six points behind so with, with not that many games to go so that is a bit of a worry um, we do have a home game against them so hopefully we can make the most of that if they're playing poorly um, 
but uh, we, we do need to beat them. And, and last time, we, although we won against them away, it was a complete and utter smash and grab. We had very little of the ball, very little of the shots. Right, finally, finally we get to this uh, this screen. So, team we're going with, we have Hansen and Parejo as our front two. They've done really well. Wickman, Wickman, whatever he wants to call himself, is on the left side. Lindquist on the right. That's a bit of a um, bit of a funny one. Mickelson is on the bench if we need him. Then we got Gambo and Hussein in the middle. There is an enormous Daddy Longlegsy thing just just to my right. So, apologies if if that comes and eats me. Uh, on at left back it's Ulimonen uh, and right back is Kohonen. He's back from uh, suspension, and then we've got Spine and Cow in the centre with Larko in def in in goal. And we have really uh, not played great against this team in the past. So let's see what we can do this time. Uh, certainly, the cup final was one of the dullest games you are ever likely to see. So we're, we've got a little bit of difference in terms of personnel, but I think the, the difference here is that they are not coming off a really good run. They are coming off a terrible run of games, and uh, we need to make the most of that. Because if we can make the most of it and we can, we can take them down, then, then it all becomes very, very interesting. We've had a few shots, so here we go. First highlight of the day, seven minutes on the clock. It's uh, Mariham who have the ball, and they're building it out from the back. A Wusu, a Corvola. That's nicely done. It's fairly straightforward. A Menko, and it's over the top. But early warning signs from, from them. They've got the possession as well, which isn't great. I do look a little bit tired. I mean, I've made changes, um, which don't uh, yeah don't reflect what they've done they've looked like they've kept everyone on so maybe at the as this game wears on maybe we will be able to make the most of it but again it looks like it's a chance for them lot they're playing the ball around well can't seem to get a foot on the ball are you gonna have a chance well goalkeeper did god knows what there we got away with that absolutely got away with that did not defend that well the goalkeeper should have run out and claimed that but uh, we he didn't and we got away with it so come on guys they they look the better side here and that's not what we want they're gonna have a shot no well, I'm positive I'm I'm tempted just to take that back to balance for at least a little bit just try and fashion some sort of chances what's our what shoot on sight on Hmm. Right, I'm going to run at defence, I think. See if that works. Not seeing a lot. It's all been them. Can we get a highlight? We're currently five points behind HJK. But I don't care if we FM them. That's fine. Fine by me. Get creative again, boys. If it's 1-0 again, if we lose 1-0, I'm going to be very disappointed. <laughs> all right, I'm going to just... I don't like what's going on here at all. We've got standard... Should we go more expressive? Tempo down a little bit. Oh, distributing to the centre-backs, that's fine. Should we... Let's do that. All right. Just push the forward line up a little bit. Well, well. <laughs> that was a taking a risk, but we got away with it. Uh, it's Gambo. Plays it long. He's managed to find his strike partner, Parejo. Hussein, who I think is a decent player, Gambo. Sveen, he switches the play, he does wonderfully well then. Lindquist, the man who's not got many games. Um, I don't think this is a real highlight, to be fair, but, you know, we'll pretend like it is. No, well, uh, you know, maybe. No. <laughs> Damn it. Well, it's nil-nil, and I, I guess many of you might have predicted this, but um, 
we're going to come back out again we are going to quality of finishing quality of control of the midfield we fired up like never before demand more come on boys we've not had a flipping highlight we've not we've not looked at all oh that is what we need to look like Uminen. it's a ball up top it's it's through hansen he and he's zero pace oh no and he doesn't beat the defender or he beats the defender he doesn't beat the goalkeeper and that was a beautiful chance so we look like we fired him up a little bit and this is helping Uminen. so far everything that's good has come down this left side oh my and that hits the underside of the bar and how did that not go in the back of the net all of a sudden we look good but then Umenko hits over the top there good god well we've livened it up a bit here we have livened it up I think we'll look to bring on Mickelson shortly it's bloody in oh it's it's going to be 1-0 again isn't it oh <laughs> so frustrating what is it with this team what is it right we are going to make a change and I am going to bring Lingfist on because he just doesn't off sorry not on he just doesn't look that very very good does he Mickelson he scored a hat trick recently can he get himself on the score sheet again today um, we've had we had a spell of about two minutes where we looked awesome um, annoyingly we we weren't able to to hold on to that um, that two minutes of form but uh, you know let's uh, let's not let's not give up yet Wickman on this left side he's you know it's not his not his area really but ball forward and well it's 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 cleared Corhonen another ball forward Mickelson oh it's into the bloody goalkeeper you should be scoring those you tools oh get creative nuts we've had we've had good chances and that's the frustration that we're not we haven't made the most of it i've had a, f a few situations like this where we just you know i guess it's where we are in the league isn't it we, we're not we're not the best club so we aren't going to stick everything away wickman it's it's over the top nice save from the keeper you could have just passed that though mate couldn't you no need to be so i mean two clear-cut chances each yeah you feel what was that oh it's a free kick Bloody hell. come on boys positive let's go attacking what are we gonna do here anxious people What's the bench got for me to do? Don't think Hussein's doing too badly. Uh, I wonder whether Vickman, you could bring him on. Coco. Why not? Let's try him. Let's try him. Vickman's done all right, but. Oh dear. I don't know where that massive um, flying winged beast has gone to he's sort of gone to sleep or something but yeah he's um bored by the uh, the attacking prowess of this team come on if we lose one nil again i'm i'm gonna have words with somebody but that doesn't mean we lose two nil no 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 hag <laughs> which oh it does it does well at least it's at least it's something different the tannin with the goal it's 2-0 they have beaten us in every game they played as we have not scored a goal in any of them i find that disappointing oh god that's the thing is it's not been terrible but yet again i don't know what it is about this side that that's <laughs> actually it's not 1-0 is it <laughs> it's not 1-0 oh this is embarrassing we've not lost at all and then with this happens bloody hell come on at least score a goal against them 
I worry this is this might be it. Hansen, you've had so many chances and yet three clear cut chances and yet you've not put one in the back of the net. That's what you get with finishing of seven, I guess. Gambo, no. And here they go. Here they go. Come on. All right, cleared again. Hussein. No, oh, don't don't get to see that. Oh dear. Well, we'll bring Hussein off. We'll bring Michaela. Michaela can come on. Hmm. There we go. Mickelson's clear. Beats his man. Look at that red-haired giant. And what was that? Another save? Hit the bar. Something happened. And again, we're thwarted by just annoying defenders and goalkeepers. <laughs> Is that over? Ah, oh, dear, dear, dear. You look at the stats, you think, oh, it's quite a tight game. Three clear-cut clear -cut chances to two, 12 on target to 10 on target. Probably about a draw there. But no, a 3-0 loss. A 3 bloody nil loss from a team who hasn't won in four. That's, that's not what I ordered. That's not what I ordered at all. That's deeply disappointing. <sighs> right, well... Let's let's have a look what that does to the league. Well, it doesn't do good things, does it? We're now six points behind HJK. The, the good thing here, though, is that we do have to play them. So if we can make up for lost ground um, there and maybe win our next two games, Ilves, we, we hope to win that at home, and Ulu, we've got a decent chance of winning that. And then we come against HJK, and we'll come back for this game. Um, and then we'll come straight back for the Europa Cup game against uh, HJK. Uh, and I'll, uh, it's H no, the Europa Cup game here against uh, Dundee United, which is an interesting one. And then the end of the season isn't that difficult looking at it. With TPS, who, who are a, a tricky side. Lati, who I feel we should be beating. Then KUPS, oh no, it is difficult. <laughs> but it does mean we have to play all the people that matter and then the last two games aren't difficult sjk and honka we should be beating anyway right we'll leave it at that um i will be coming back for this hjk game hopefully we've managed to pull things out a bit but what was that performance just let me know in the comments what i did wrong there anyway guys if you enjoyed this episode please hit the like button please subscribe if you are new and i'll see you next time for episode seven and the big one against uh, HJK. See you then, bye.